Hi, I'm Heather, founder of Harmony in Motion Feng Shui. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to apply the Feng Shui Bagua map over the floor plan of your home. The Feng Shui Bagua map is a tool that we use in Feng Shui to determine where the nine energy centers of our lives fall within our homes. It consists of wealth and prosperity, fame and recognition, relationships, family, health, children and creativity, knowledge, career, and helpful people and travel. Once you understand the full meaning of each area, which you can learn more about online, we need to superimpose this on the home to learn what goes where. We are going to lay this down based on the Western method of Feng Shui, also known as BTB or Black Hat, which is based on the position of your front door in relation to how you enter your home. Your front door is almost always going to be along the bottom of the Feng Shui Bagua map in one of these three areas, knowledge, career, or helpful people and travel. Start with the floor plan of your home. If you have the actual blueprint, that's great. If you do not, you can just draw it yourself. And while your drawing does not have to be perfect, it is important that it be proportionate. And don't forget any little twists and turns, closets or stairs. Then you simply divide your home into nine equal squares or rectangles, just like a tic-tac-toe board. The Bagua areas get superimposed onto your floor plan and you can be off and running, adding remedies and good energy. However, many people do not have a perfectly square home. If your home is long and rectangular in either direction, you would just stretch out the Bagua map areas into nine equal rectangles like this. Of course, many houses aren't always a complete square or rectangle shape either. So if that happens, we have to apply what we call the 50% rule to find out how to lay the Bagua square or rectangle down and if we have any areas missing from our home. Notice in this example, the area sticking out at the top and bottom. First, we divide the home in half down the middle vertically. However, if the areas sticking out of the floor plan are off to the side, you would divide it in half horizontally. Up at the top, if the area that is sticking out is less than 50% of the entire width of the home, we consider that area to be an extension. Down at the bottom, if the area that is sticking out from the floor plan is greater than 50% of the width of the house, then the opposite area is considered a missing area. Once we have determined what is possibly missing or extended, then we know how the full Bagua fits over our home. In this sample, we see down at the bottom that most of the knowledge area and a little bit of career is missing from the home. When an area is missing, that doesn't necessarily mean you won't get that energy in your life. However, it usually means it may be a little more challenging to get there. Or sometimes it may mean that this is an area you need to work on spiritually in your life. Don't worry, there are many ways to offset the energy and balance out missing areas. Now up at the top we see that we have an extension in the wealth corner. An extension usually means you have a little extra support in that area, but it's important to make sure that you include that area in the decor of your home for the most benefits. Some important notes. Number one, twists and turns. Sometimes when you walk directly into your home and you hit a wall and immediately have to turn and the whole house is going in that other direction, you would orient the Bagua that way. Number two, garages and patios. If you can enter your house directly from your garage, then you do include the garage in your Bagua map. Balconies and patios are not part of the Bagua map unless they are enclosed and used year round. Number three, second levels. You can apply the Bagua to each level of your home. If you go upstairs, you would place the Bagua down based on how you enter that level, as if the stairs are the front door to that level. Many times on second levels, the Bagua may be laid down differently than the downstairs if there are any twists and turns from the stairs. Now that you have the Bagua map successfully laid down over the floor plan of your home, it's time to have some fun and assess and evaluate. There is no right or wrong or good or bad to how the Bagua map falls onto your floor plan. You now know the energy of what each area in your home represents and can get insights to see what's going on in your home that is correlating to what is going on in your life and begin to make changes to either clean it up or to enhance and anchor the energy even more depending on your goals. If you would like more information about the Bagua map, things like what goes where and why, along with more floor plan samples, check out my e-guide. Just click the Buy Now button below for more information, or go to EmpowerYourHomeNow.com. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact me at HarmonyInMotion.com, or you can find me on Facebook or Twitter. 
Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.